introduction of microbes and introduction of fiber and introduction of water must be deliberate and preferably from day one. Clean, good quality water is as crucial for human development as microbes. But in many farms, water is water. And you would find that farmers are giving their animals water. Some of them even use highly chlorinated water and they believe it is good. I want to tell you that chlorine in water is meant to, to kill microbes. So every time you dose your animals with chlorinated water, you are actually undermining your very own production because you keep on reducing the population of microbes or bacteria who are the main workers inside your engine, which is the rumen of a cow. And this eats into us over a period of time. And one question you would be asking yourself technically is, if you give your animals water that has chlorine, and there happens to be water that has just run off from rain and, uh, and, and you see your cows, you will see your animals will really love to drink dirty water that you may call dirty. Maybe it is water that is standing on the roads or just in several places on your farm. They would prefer taking that than the water that is there on your uh, drinkers. It is important we study and try to understand why does that appear to be more appealing to them than the water that you are very careful to give to them because chlorine undermines dairy farming. In the absence of water, microbes, even if they be available, cannot thrive. Clean water, the same free from chlorine, should be introduced to calves from day one. At least, even if you would use chlorinated water in your dairy farm, let it not be heavily chlorinated. But if you happen to have heavily chlorinated water on your farm, find a way of dechlorinating maybe expose it a bit wide uh, for a long, for long hours so that it can evaporate and uh, the chlorine in the water can evaporate so that we allow the animals less chlorinated water but for calves can you access river water can you access rain water because you want to nurture the population of microbes in their systems so that the animals can acquire enough um, enough workers who will be degrading whatever the animals take to turn them into productive uh, products. I mean, beneficial products to you that will be milk production, growth, fertility, meat, and reduced cow dung. Chlorinated water hugely undermines rumen development and punctures the efforts farmers put into breeding milk, calves, meat, growth, and fertility. Water should never be mixed into the calf's milk, it should be served separately.